Hello everyone and welcome once again to MJ's Maths and Stats. That's MJ Magic Studio to you. I am your host, your host, and as usual in the ghost mode, Mohit Jain. Today with few puzzles, a uh, few not one or two puzzles, uh, which uh, are very regular at Higher Pro platform, which is the platform for Infor, Zoho, uh, DXC technology, and we'll see that how we can solve these kind of question in no time. So the drill is very simple. Pause the session, try to solve it yourself, and then look out for the solution. So on this note, let's do these kind of uh, puzzles, which are very often found on higher player platform and other platforms also, like Aeon, basically. So let's start now. So back to the puzzle again the same type of grid and I have already prepared one. Let us put what we have. Six person P Q R S T U are traveling to six different nation India, US, China, Russia, Sri Lanka and England to speak on six different topics. Economics, IT, politics, natural resource, environment, and education. So with E we have three: economics, environment, and education. Here also, let me write this: economics, IT, politics, natural resource, education. Sorry, environment, and the last one is. Education. P will speak on politics. Done. But he will not travel to either U.S. or Russia. Not to U.S. Not to Russia. Okay. That means U.S. person is not speaking on politics. Russian is not speaking on politics, because P is speaking on politics. And we put cross accordingly. Q will go to China. Let him visit China. P is not visiting China. Chinese is not uh, interested in politics. But he will not speak on IT. Q will also not speak on IT. Chinese one is also not speaking on IT. R will speak on education. Education is the last education. Okay, R R is oh this is Russia. Education, Chinese person is not speaking on education, no. and he will not go to either Russia or Sri Lanka. So R is not going to Russia, neither he is going to Sri Lanka. Russian are not speaking on education. Sri Lankans are also not speaking on education. U will not speak on economy or IT. U will not speak on economy or IT. But he will go to England. U will go to England. Okay, let him go. U is going to England, and he is not speaking on economics. England one is not speaking on economics. Or IT, or politics, or education. The one who is going to England is either speaking on natural resources or environment. T will go to India. T is going to India. And now we will start getting up answer. P is going to Sri Lanka. S is going to Russia. And R is going to US. Okay, T is going to India, and he will speak on natural resource. So 
Indian will speak on natural resource. And he's T. T is speaking on natural resource. Now we can complete the grid and match it. England is speaking on environment. Yes, matched. P is speaking. P is going to Sri Lanka, and Sri Lankan is speaking on politics. Sri Lankan are speaking on politics. Okay, so all match done. Completed. P is going to Sri Lanka and will speak on politics. Q is going to China and will speak on economics. R is going to US and will speak on education. S is going to Russia and will speak on IT. T is going to India and will speak on natural resource. U is going to England and will speak on environment. Done. Now let them ask whatever they want. Another perfect grid type question on the screen. Pause and try to solve it yourself. Have a look. Let's try to read it and plot the data accordingly. MN, PQ, S and T are six members of a group in which there are three females. That means three are male. The female work in three different departments. M, N, P, Q, S, T. Accounts. Admin. And personal. Okay, three department we have. And sit on three different floors. Okay, I have deliberately left it. Let it be for floors. First, second and third floors. Person working in same department are not on the same floor. Okay. Person working in same department are not on the same floor. Two person work on each floor. Done. No two female work in the same department or on the same floor. Okay. No two female work in the same department or on the same floor. And an S work in the same department. But not in personal. Okay, N and S are not in personal, but they are working in same department, either in accounts or in admin, but not in personal. Q work in admin. Q is working in admin. That means N and S are not working in admin because only two people can work in each department. That means N and S are working in accounts department. So accounts done. S is working in accounts, N in working in accounts. Okay, so Q is working in admin. S and M are on first and third floor. S is on first floor and M is on third floor. M is on third and S is on first. So S is working in accounts on first. The other person 
who is working in account cannot be on the same floor n is not on the first floor q a female does not work on second floor q is female is not working on second floor p a male works on first floor p is working on first floor so we have got the first floors people p and s are on first floor p is male that means s is female and on first floor we already have a person from accounts p is not from accounts q is in admin for q we have got only third floor left so q is admin on third floor and q is female that means m is male so one female left would be working in personal m on third cannot work in admin that means m is working in personal on third floor two people done on second floor we have n and t n is from accounts n cannot be female t is from personal t is female that means n is male t is from personal personal two people done then p is also from admin so we have the entire grid done on first floor we have p from admin and s from accounts male female second floor we have n from accounts and t from personal male female and on third floor we have m for, from personal and q from admin that is male female that is the answer set you people know the drill these kind of questions are quite regular at higher pro and uh, pause the session try to solve it yourself eight person are seated around a square table two on each side there are three lady members we have e f g h i j k l three are ladies and they are not seated next to each other ladies are not sitting next to each other j is between l and f so let me start with j j is between l and f we can have one more where this f and this can be l g is between i and f so if i'm following the first one g is between i and f or then g is between i and f h a lady member is fourth to the left of j j 1 2 3 4 h is here a lady is four to the left of j f a male is seated opposite e f is a male if i'm taking this is seated opposite e we will not choose this the outer one because f is sitting opposite e in the outer one f would be sitting opposite h so let me delete this from the system first now if i see what we are left with e e f g h i j k 
then k would be sitting here let us fill up the other detail f is a male is seated opposite of e a lady member this should be male and l should be male i should also be male there is a lady member between f and i between f and i g is the lady member then 1 2 3 lady member done this is male done e is a female g is female h is female i j k l and f are male and this is the setting arrangement now whatever question they ask thank you everyone for participating on this hope that uh, i'll see you soon thank you once again i'll see you soon